shift statics axiom is an axiom of constraints. But before speaking about the axiom, let's talk about constraints. We've already discussed what is free body and what is constrained body. Constrained body is a body to which some constraints are imposed. Well, first we should tell at once that statics will have constraints, just triggered bodies or some objects which are restricting the motion or possible motion of rigged body. Further, we'll have also dynamics, last part of theoretical mechanics, where the constraints will be modeled by certain functions as well, equalities or inequalities from several or one variables. Well, here we, without any mathematical notations, are simply telling that constraints is a certain restriction of rigid bodies. Restrictions made from real material, for example steel, concrete, wood, plastic, and they are fixed somehow on body. So the character of fastening defines the character of constraint. Well, the most elementary constraint could be considered for the coplanar system of forces. Let's consider the coplanar system of forces that is the system of forces located in plane. Let's assume that the whole problem is located in this plane. The most elementary constraint is the fixed hinge. The fixed hinge applied to some rigid body. Well, some aperture is being fixed on a rigid body and here on this cylindrical hinge. We could also tell cylindrical hinge. The body could freely turn. But thus the constraint is restricted by something. It is restricting a horizontal and vertical motion. These restrictions cause some forces which are called the reactions of constraints. There are the other constraints as well, for example, the mobile hinge. It is the same hinge, but located on the skating rings. Let's assume that solid body will freely turn about this point, but across, we should consider that it is a horizontal it could freely roll, when the force, which is obstructive across, will not exist, and there will be only the force which is obstructive for the detachment. We will consider that it restricts the motion over surface from both sides. That is, we have only one force. So this constraints axiom, which is being formulated very simply, determines the forces, their direction, their initiation and how to work with them. It approves that the action of constraints could be replaced with reactions. The action of constraints could be replaced with the reactions of constraints in accordance with this axiom. In a general, as well as any axiom, it is really or rather tautological. Here one definition is expressed through another one, and it is not clear which one is primary and which is secondary. That's why when we're talking about constraints and reactions, we mean this axiom. What are the reactions if they could not be applied to a body instead of constraints? Well, this axiom brings all to one. The constraint had been removed, replaced with the reaction. The axiom approves this. Now let's see what are the concrete constraints and the concrete reactions. What reactions appear here? So the reaction which interfere with a vertical and horizontal motion naturally are some forces. According to an axiom, we will draw this body again. But we have no constraints anymore. We have two reactions. Let's denote them as x a, y a. But sometimes this reaction is being denoted in a different way. But the main thing is that two independent quantities appear here. They could be as known, so and unknown. As a rule, they are unknown reactions and in a most simple student's problems. The statics problem is the determination of the reaction of constraint. We need to draw a rigid body to allocate the reactions, to write down the equation for determination of these reactions and to find them.